Probably the first thing you will want to do before you add any quizzes, discussions, or assignments to your courses is to create folders. Unless you want to copy and move every item individually from course to course every year, you'll want to group things into folders. Folders make it easy to move, copy, and save resources, and you can hide folders, which hides all the content inside so you can build quizzes and assignments, but your students won't be able to access that content until you're ready and you've released it. It is beneficial to take a few minutes to decide on a folder structure that makes sense for you and your class. Here is a kindergarten class where the teacher has a question of the day folder and an old questions folder that is hidden. Her students know to always visit the question of the day folder for their question to answer. Afterwards, she moves that question to her old questions folder. This folder is a great archive of all of the questions she has asked throughout the year, and she'll be able to quickly save all of those into her resources, or simply copy them all to her new classes next year. In contrast, here is a class where the folders are organized by topic. As you can see, you can even have folders within folders. Regardless of how you set up your folders, I recommend hiding the materials index links. While this index can be helpful for you to quickly jump to a quiz, its presence often confuses students and causes them to click on the wrong areas to find their content in Schoology. You can hide the index from a student's view by clicking the hide link next to each category. The area will become slightly gray in color indicating students can't see it. Once you've hidden the index links and decided on a folder structure, use the Add Materials button to create your folders. Name the folder and put a description next to it if you'd like. Click the blue Create button when you're done. You can adjust whether students see a folder and its contents or not by clicking on the gearbox next to the folder and choosing the availability link. Folders can be visible or hidden, or you can set a release date or date range during which the folder will be visible to your students. After you've created your folders, you'll click on the folder's title to add in all of the information, discussions, quizzes, and activities you want your students to complete in each one using the Add Materials button.